I made quite a funny intro to this video, but I stupidly deleted it. So let's just pretend that I'm doing the intro now. Pretend there is about six parcels on the table and I'm unboxing them. And yep, I unboxed them and one of them is a catch can from Creation Motorsport. Just pretend that it's there. And it was very funny, so imagine funny commentary and something. Um, but it's not there anymore. Great, I'm an idiot and I can't recover it. So we all had a good laugh about that, didn't we guys? Yes, we did. Anyway, we're installed on a catch can today. <sighs> the catch can that I've got is a 19 millimeter outlet from Creation Motorsport. So I, I'm, it's all done now, this is me, I'm editing it. So I'm just, I need to make sure that I've actually included all the intros in the beginning and the intro and shit like that. So I explain how to do it. So let's just roll on with the video. Okay, before I get into this video, if you didn't know, I was giving something away in the last video. I've got all of your guys' names, I think there was 32 entrants for this sticker. The sticker itself is fine, but it's just peeling at the edges. Here we have everyone's name that entered. Let's go, let's do this, okay. Should, should we just do it? I don't know if there's going to be some build-up or something. Let's just, just imagine that there's a drum roll, okay? Mickey Morcus 99 well done! What was your comment? I'm going to come find it now. There, it, there is your comment, mate. Sweet. So yeah, cheers for the support as always. And everyone that entered, thank you so much for just supporting me. Drop me a message either on YouTube or on Twitter or, or on Instagram. Just drop me a DM. Get back to me within a week. You have one week to reply. And uh, yeah, leave your address. And then that sticker is yours. As we've already seen today, we're going to be installing a catch can. I just want to say a huge shout out to Creation Motorsport for linking me with this catch can. It's a 19mm inlet slash outlet, which means that it's like perfect fit. So there's no need to use any of these silly uh, like conversions or anything like that from like an eBay, eBay catch can. So you literally just plug it in and it works. Also, you will need two meters of long 19mm hose, uh, special oil slash fuel hose, which you could just use. And then you need a couple like T pieces and connectors. One of these 90 millimeter T piece and two of these 90 degree connector for hose because there's some sharp bends which needs to go in. Obviously to connect everything up, you will then need, I think it's 10, I think I've got 10 in here. Let me just get them out. Yep, so 10 of these. Uh, 18 to 25 millimeter, I think, to connect everything up. And then to be safe, get a new one of these PCV connector things, just in case your old one is like split and shit. So let's have a look at what's going on. So what this does, uh, first of all, dipstick hose out, and then as you can see that and this tube, basically everything connected to that needs to come out and then either gets plugged or gets rerouted to our new hoses. Now the hardest part about this is trying to find somewhere to put the catch can. I spent yesterday, I was meant to do this yesterday, but I spent like two hours trying to drill somewhere to put the catch can and I think I found the spot. So when you order this, it will come with, it will come with one or two of these little connectors and basically it screws onto the top of the catch can and then I've made two holes there so then connect it somewhere in my engine bay. This is where I've decided to put it. Uh, <laughs> ignore these. Basically, there's a, I don't know, there's some box here with some like plugs or something. Uh, you can take all of that out and then push them and squeeze them into here. I'm not gonna undo that because it's, that's on now. Actually, no, I will have to undo it anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. They, you can kind of see them in there. You just squeeze them in there. And I've done two holes here to connect the catch can and sit it there. And hopefully that's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put it on and then get back to you and hopefully the catch can is actually installed. Just straight into the plastic. I accidentally dropped one of the bolts, so we're gonna have to find that. Uh, then there's the floor, and there goes everything on the floor. So then I'll just zip tied it just to secure it at the bottom. And now what you're gonna wanna do is take off, I'm, I undone the intercooler just to get room, but take off the hose from that hockey puck thing and then from there, which is this thing. And then if you follow that line all the way down, yeah, so from there, that goes all the way down there, and as you can see, here, you need to take that little clip out, and then take that thing out as well. Also, undo this pipe whilst you're here. So, let's get that out. I'm hoping 
but this thing is the cause of my weird boost issue and I'm guessing I don't know if that's supposed to be as flimsy and weak as it is but we're eliminating that fucking hell we're eliminating that issue anyway so who knows now there's something else that you can do while we're here and I'm not quite sure if this is how you do it so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it right now but there's a hose right there like just underneath and that leads up to here and these things and I think you can chop that off and just get rid of that one because I don't know if you need the two but again I'm not too sure and all I'm doing today is installing the catch can so let's go install it the pipe work I mean we've done the catch can it's actually already in you know what I mean and then the next step is to get the new hose and to basically cut it to shape now I'm gonna install this and I'm gonna show you exactly how this like the T-piece and everything goes in and which inlet side goes to what side. So this is where the intercooler annoys me. And see pictures online of other people's intercoolers. The intercooler itself goes like up here and then goes around here and then down so it doesn't get in the way of absolutely everything. It's literally squishing up against everything and I don't know why. I don't know why it was made like that. So the catch can, where, where the wire goes, goes from that thing, one goes into there, the other one goes in one there, the catch can to the inlet, the catch can, and then the other end goes into where the hockey puck thing is. Some people get rid of that hockey puck, but I don't know if, if you need it or not, so I'm keeping it in. I literally just twisted that around just to, so it's a straight line. And then cut it. Don't forget your hose clamps for these. So anyway, whilst we're trying to do this up, to empty it, or to whatever, you probably need to like empty it, I don't know. I saw some guy say every week, but I think I'm probably gonna not. I don't know, that seems a bit excessive, but you literally just unscrew it. And then whatever crap there would be in there, you just empty it. Pretty much all like done in, not done because it's not actually connected back to the thing. But that's that's the catch can actually installed. Oh wait, I haven't done this bit up. Everything connected up. I'm just gonna connect all the intercooler shit back up. Okay, so what I've got in mind is I flipped the hockey puck to face directly to that because it's just it's just an annoying pain this thing. So the intercooler is now squishing this pipe, so I'm gonna have to insert a longer piece there to get it to stick out to here. But like you can't see shit. Uh, you could, yeah, you can see it. That right there in the centre of the screen is getting squished. That pipe going up to there is getting squished by the intercooler. So I'm going to have to insert a longer piece. <laughs> Day 496. He's still trying to get it in. No, nah, all right. So it's all in. So you, let's follow me. If you're doing this with me. <laughs> Do you want to speak? Uh, no, speak actually. So. I don't want to be in your video. Oh. So. Where so, I originally. So. For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Catch can is here, as you can see, but sadly it didn't go up to where I mounted it because it's. stupid. But anyway, so let's, let's, let's follow. Right, anyway, so let's start down at the bottom. As you can see, the 90 degree thing runs up here to this T piece which one side goes into the inlet manifold and one side goes into the catch can. And then the other side of the catch can goes down into this little hockey puck thing down there. And that's it. That's what I spent about six hours doing. Other thing that you could, I think this is the brake servo hose, which you can like cut that bit off and plug that and plug the other bit that it's in and then redo whatever. But I, I can't be honest, I just wanted to do this. Um, I think everything's connected. I was doing this as well. This is like, from this stupid intercooler, and I'm allowed to say this is stupid because it should go around rather than through the middle of everything. But I had to reroute this and then plug it back into the div diverter valve. Should we just turn it on? Yeah, it must be Makes sense. Huh. <laughs> Alright, we're turning it on, lads! Turn it on!
fixing another part because basically I completely forgot that you need to bung this up one of the things that comes off that little T-piece there you just need to stick a little bolt and clamp it all up hopefully this will idle smooth should have fixed it boost gauge make sure there isn't any random spikes or some shit because the PCB hose that I use is very flimsy I don't know just to make sure it's a bit harder but it's good but it's just really flimsy so we're just gonna go for a drive and see how it holds actually no I don't want to put my phone next I need to see that all right the camera just died so I feel when I lose his phone Watch you guys. Uh, that is how you install a cash cam. Make sure there's no leaks or anything. Like I stupidly left that cap off. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Uh, links in the description for the Croatia Motorsport cash cam. Like, like I said, you don't need adapters or anything. It's literally just plug and play. But yeah, shout out to them for hooking me up with one of those. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.